They are the skyscrapers of rural North Dakota. Their contents stand as a battery ready to feed the world. But on the farm of Gerald Bradley, a silo did the job of today's grain bins. When they had put grain in it, it held 26,000 bushel of barley. Bradley grew up on a dairy farm and became very familiar with silos like these. It fed 100 cows for 100, 100 days. There was enough silage, enough food in here for them. For years, Gerald Silos provided food for his cows. But as the years went by, he found another use for them. They now provide shelter for his family. I made this, all of this here. The decision of turning an old silo into a 2,000 square foot addition was an easy one for Bradley. I had many tons of silage in here. But hard for others to come to terms with. <laughs> they just shook their head. If anyone was to meet Gerald Bradley, they would see that he was determined. I cut all the silo off halfway around. Determined to turn this old bin into a home. No blueberry. Just in my head, I, got, I borrowed a, a sheetrock lifter, and I had to, a lot of times, if we used 12, 4 by 12 sheets, and they were heavy. And if I see a neighbor go by, I'd go out and wave him in. He'd help me put it on the lifter, and then I could get it from there. From sunrise to sunset, Bradley worked to turn his idea into a reality. I, there was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of challenges. I mean, I went to Bismarck. to I didn't know how to cut a round plate. This is, used to be our old bedroom here. This is an example that hard work does pay off. It, it was bigger than this. The new silo addition includes two new family rooms, a new bedroom, and a new interest from people passing by. There's even been neighbors, not neighbors, eight, well, eight, nine miles apart uh, from here that stop in at 930 at night and ask if they can go through the house. Bradley says he enjoys his new home. A part of his past. How many cows do you think you milked in the day? Well, I milked uh, 75, 75, 150 cows in a day. Will always be a part of his future. In Glenburn, Jennifer Schwann, KX News.